Yeah, it's, it's truly special. I mean, our own engineers take time out of their day. I mean, uh, after they're done working, uh, they're, they're uh, seven to five, seven to six shift. They actually do these call-ins on the web. They have to call them web chats. So you get together and uh, there'll be five or six engineers that, in different disciplines at SRT. And it's really an open call. And you will get all kinds of questions. We'll take them. Uh, it'll be you know typed in, typed out. Uh, but it's a great conversation with the owners. And we also do it at events whenever we can. We'll actually uh, do uh, tech sessions, we call them. We'll actually sit the owners down with, with the, the, the engineers and they're taking notes real time. And we're not afraid to get the feedback. You know, we pay attention to the blogs, we pay attention to the owners because at the end of the day, uh, they, they make or break us. You know, and that's part of the culture of SRT is that accessibility to the management. My boss and I got together and said, hey, let's turn this thing into a real brand again. And a part of that is creating the community. I mean, these brands, at the end of the day, people buy the car, but they fall in love with the community and keep buying another one because they love uh, being part of this club, so to speak, that but now we have uh, well over 100,000 uh, members, you know, cars in this community. So I want to create a, a kind of a, a safe haven for these people, a website where they can go and tell their story, put, post pictures up, and then people have conversations, hey, I've discovered this trick on this car, I was wrenching on this, and know that and really kind of foster that, that deal. It's happening anyway. I mean, there's a lot of that uh, organically going on. I think the new generation of SRTs are going to bring different types of people to us. We've been a little bit um, kind of an, uh, kind of someone's first supercar for a while. Now we're, I think our Grand Cherokee is every bit as good as some of the best names out there. We're going to start people having people look at us that have never considered us before. There's a lot of pressures on vehicles like the SRT. And in the day and age we live in, you can't just make power and, and just be indignant about it. You gotta kinda look at how can you balance power and efficiency. So the, even though we ex it, it, uh, increased the displacement on the 6.1, we went to 6.4, we actually made the, the vehicle and the engine much more efficient. So how do we do that? The engine has a lot more uh, active control. So you have active manifolds, active exhaust, uh, using four-cylinder mode where you can actually shut the, make the engine sleep. And all these technologies together uh, make the, the engine kinda fit your mood. So when you're just cruising away and commuting and, and on a business call through your Uconnect, you're getting amazing fuel economy in four-cylinder mode. When you're in the mood to, to take that off-ramp, uh, the vehicle changes and becomes this, this guttural, amazing beast, you know. So that's the cool thing about the technology. We're embracing it and using it to further the art of creating a great supercar or a great muscle car. We take our cars out and put them at, at, at really test them to their limits. I mean, many, many, most people will really never take these cars that far. But we figure if the car is balanced and it's safe at, at high speeds, and even the average driver can, in a moment, you never know, you may have that one moment when you rely on the car's balance to, to save you, it's there. So the vehicles are developed with that kind of depth. And that's important. It's not at the limit handling so much as, as depth, flexibility, a little forgiveness in the handling. So that's something we strive for, especially in the sedans, uh, because all kinds of people from all walks of life drive. And yeah, we have racers on our, on our mids that drive them, but they know in their minds that these are for a wide range of people. These cars are, are, are not shrinking violets. You know, they're, they're good size sedans because and they're, they're E-class segment cars. So we've learned a lot about brakes. This is a second go around, the second generation. And, and when you do that, you learn from the past. So we've learned from the Viper program. We've learned from our other SRTs. And even myself as a designer, we used to, we've been designing these cars and every, th every scoop on those vehicles is functional. So it's one thing to put a lot of, 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 um, of mass in the brakes to, to dissipate the heat and put the knockback technology to manage the uh, when the rotor just walks a little bit and pushes the pistons back. We have a technology that brings them back, but also the cooling. We've learned a lot by, by making large ducts so when the car is in between corners going down the straightaways or even on the freeway, that air is there going right to the center rotor and cool it. So all these things we've learned uh, from our engineers to combine you know, in a natural way the efficiency of the dynamics with the performance of the brakes. So when you need them, they're there. What's unique about the brands behind, we've got three brands and they each have their own personalities. One's, one's a bit of a classic, obviously, uh, respect to the past with the retro styling of the Challenger. And you have the somewhat more extroverted nature of the Charger, very aggressive, and that's the buyer who buys that car. And obviously, the 300, I call it the Q-Ship. You know, it's a silent one. It's, it's very powerful looking, but it looks like a sketch. I mean, the thing is just gorgeous. Uh, it's really kind of uh, understated. You can see the elements of aero there. Then you have the Grand Cherokee, which is kind of a new thing. I mean, it's SUV performance SUV has been around, but I think the art is still evolving. And this thing is just ferocious. It really looks like it's purpose-built. Extra wide bulges on the tires, um, big scoops and intakes. And again, everything you see is functional. We, we just don't put holes for the holes sake. They all do something.